So first things first, let's get started by creating our new folder using the mpx digit commands. Type in mpx digit svelte js slash template, and then my app is what I'm going to call it, but you can call it whatever you want to name your application. Once you're done with that, we're going to cd into the name of the application, and then I'm going to type in code dots to open this in Visual Studio Code. Um, as you can see here, we have our source public. We also have a scripts folder that has a script that we can run if we want to convert this to a TypeScript project. Once that's done, let's go back to our terminal and let's type in rm and then scripts. Now, what this is going to do is remove that scripts folder since we don't need to use it, uh, since we're not going to be using TypeScript. Next, let's type in npm install. And then after that's finished, we'll type in npm install electron to install the electron dependency. Now that we've created a place for our UI code to live, we want to create a place for our backend code to live. I'm going to create a new folder called electron. Inside of this electron folder, we're going to create a new file called index.js. This will be the starting point of our application and where we actually create our UI as well as interact with the operating system. Now that our file structure is basically complete, let's actually get started by diving into some code. First, I'm going to import the app object from Electron. The app property that comes with Electron is meant to help us with our life cycle of our application. For example, if we want to find the name or the version of our application, it includes many helpful functions to help us do that. Furthermore, finding things like the platform the user is running the application on, say Windows, Mac, or Linux, also has helpful properties inside of the process.platform method. In here, it will return a string representation of what platform the user is running this on. For example, if I am running this on Windows, which I am right now, it will return win32 as a string inside of this platform variable. Furthermore, the app object contains other useful helper functions, like get path. So doing app.get path and passing in, say, downloads, will return the absolute path to the downloads folder on the user's particular machine. With this, we could also find absolute paths of the application's executable, as well as images, photos, or the desktop folders, just to name a few. Now that we know a little bit about how the app object works inside of Electron, let's actually put it to good use. First thing we're going to want to do is create a new function called main. Inside of this function, I'm going to create a new window by instantiating a new class called browser window. So let's go ahead and import that up above. When creating a new browser window, we pass in an object that contains multiple different properties that affect the look and feel of our application window. One of those properties is width and height. So for the width, we're going to set it to 800 and the height of 700. Now, let's actually load an HTML file into our newly created window. To do that, we're going to import the join function from the built-in path module inside Node.js. So up above, we're going to import join from path. Lastly, let's load the index.html file inside of the public directory just one step above. Remember earlier when we created our Svelte application, the index.html file was automatically created inside of the public folder. Now we can't just call the main function right away. We have to wait for Electron to tell us it's okay to do so. By calling the app.whenready function, it will return a promise. With that promise, we can then call the main function when it's resolved. So to actually test our program and make sure it works, we want to go to the package.json and declare a main entry point. The main entry point is going to be inside of the Electron folder, and it is our index.js file. After that, we're going to want to set up a development script. Currently, the development script is set up for web-based builds, but all we have to do is modify it a little bit, and it'll work for our case. So let's change it from rollup to use npm run build. So we're going to build the svelte side of the UI, and then we're going to use double ampersamps, which means after that's finished, run electron dot. What this will do is it'll actually run the main index.js file using electron and that'll kickstart our application and then we'll be good to go. Lastly, let's go into the index.html file and modify the href and source attributes. Since we're using electron and electron's file protocol is slightly different than in the browser, 
what we're going to have to do is just get rid of the first forward slashes inside of the link tags and the script tags. And after that, we'll be good to go. Lastly, let's change our application title to something more fancy, and we can go into the terminal and run npm run dev to see our application in progress. And just like that, we have created a Electron application that renders a Svelte UI. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.